What is it with adult friendships? Why are they so hard to find? Years ago, when I moved to Washington DC to work on Capitol Hill, I left behind an amazing group of friends back in Baton Rouge. Because I spent so much of my time working, I was a congressional scheduler after all, managing every minute of my boss's day. It was really hard to make new friends. Between work and more work and occasionally sleeping, it felt like there was never any time to relax. And suddenly my friends were just the people I worked with. Please tell me I'm not alone in this. If you can relate, drop a comment below and let me know. That's why I wanna talk about adult friendships today. It's important that we don't go through life alone. And yeah, maybe you have a spouse or a partner or some really great family members or coworkers that you can talk to, but having friends that you can trust confide in and honestly vent to while knowing they just get it, it's really important too. We all need friends to do life with. So in this video, we'll talk about what psychology says about friendships, why it feels so difficult to make new friends as an adult, and how you can make time to branch out and try to make some new connections. Yes, even as an introvert. Listen, you don't have to be the most charismatic, outgoing, extroverted person in the room to make friends as an adult. We're all longing for connection and you just might be surprised where you can find some. But before we get started, be a pal and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I think I thought it was tough to make friends until I was about 24, 25 years old. Do you remember being a kid and just easily making friends with just about anyone? Like all you had to do was ask them to play at recess and bam, you've got a new best friend. A few weeks ago, we went over to a friend's house to watch a football game and my three-year-old Millie was so shy when we got there. So I took her to the playroom to meet some of the other kids who were in there playing and convinced her to stick around and play. The next thing I knew, she was knee deep in Barbies, introducing me to her new best friend, Lucy, that she had just met five minutes ago. But as an adult, it's definitely weird to walk up to a stranger and say, hey, I like your shoes, wanna be best friends? And that's because we tend to get a little bit jaded as we get older, but that doesn't make friendships any less important. In fact, Friendship can help us live longer, healthier, happier lives. And according to the Mayo Clinic, making time for friendships can increase your sense of purpose, increase your happiness and reduce stress, improve your self-confidence and self-worth, help you cope with traumatic life events, encourage you to change or avoid unhealthy habits, and help you grow as a person. And the National Institute on Aging even says that loneliness and isolation increase our risk for things like high blood pressure, heart disease, weaker immune systems, anxiety, depression, and cognitive decline, which may lead to Alzheimer's. So clearly friendships are important, but why are they so tough to navigate as adults? What it really comes down to has nothing to do with your personality or your sense of value. It's hard to make friends as an adult because we're all so busy. When you've got a house to run, a job to do, kids to look after, a spouse to pay attention to, there's not really much time left at the end of the day for yourself, much less friends. I can't tell you how many times I've met someone who I really connected with and we were like, oh, let's hang out sometime, let's grab lunch, only to never hear from them again. And then when we did eventually run into each other, we gave the old, sorry, I didn't reach out. Things have been so busy. Let's plan on grabbing lunch soon. Sometimes it was me who didn't reach out. Sometimes it was them. And then sometimes it was me who put the lunch date on the wrong day in my calendar and completely screwed it all up. True story, sorry, Michelle. The point is 99.99% .99 of the time, it's nothing personal. And the truth is that friendships take work just like any other relationship in your life. And hey, sometimes you've got to make time for them, not just wait around for an opportunity to come up and magically appear. A long time group of my friends that's now scattered all over the country uses a group text to stay in touch. We call ourselves the Perry Como Social Club. And yes, it's a long story. 
But even though we maybe get together once or twice a year at a holiday or for an LSU football game, the constant stream of birthday wishes and funny memes and life announcements really keep us all connected. And then one of my good friends that lives about five minutes away, we use low key, no frills opportunities to get together. We'll meet at Starbucks for coffee and catch up after daycare drop off, or we'll plan a play date for our kids at a nearby park with Happy Meals. Getting together with friends definitely doesn't have to be a big production. So what do you do if you feel like it's hard to make new friends or even maintain current friendships as an adult? Well, you gotta put yourself out there, as uncomfortable as that may be. Nobody, and I mean nobody, not even the most confident seeming person there is, likes to put themselves out there knowing that there's a chance of getting rejected. It just completely goes against who we are as human beings. But the people who do put themselves out there have a deeper desire to cultivate connection than they do to be comfortable. So. Start reaching out to people you've been wanting to hang out with and get something on the calendar. Don't just say, let's hang out sometime. Instead say, hey, what are you doing next Saturday morning? Wanna go get brunch? People are more likely to agree to plans when they're a little more concrete, so don't be afraid to be specific. If you're involved in an organization or even a gym with workout classes, your PTA, church, or even just going to your kids' sports team practices, don't be afraid to make the first move and start up a conversation with the other people there. Chances are they're feeling the same way. Just like dating or finding a new job, new friends are not just gonna fall out of the sky. If you're not involved in organizations or groups outside of work, consider finding something that interests you and jump in. Whether it's a professional networking group or a volunteer organization, I've met some of my best friends at conferences or by volunteering together. One raffle ticket selling shift at the mall several years ago turned into joining a book club with some amazing women. Awkwardly introducing myself at a conference for business owners evolved into one of my closest friendships. I know this can all sound scary, but the risk is really worth the reward in this case. You weren't meant to do life alone, my friend. And hey, if you're still feeling like finding your people has been tough, I invite you to join the It's About Time Academy. While we do, of course, go over a lot of time management and work-life balance best practices, and there are plenty of opportunities to grow in that respect, we also do a lot of soul searching and supporting one another to help us find what's most important to us, AKA things we need to make more time for. And I'm willing to bet there's someone in there who could use a friend like you too. If you're interested, head over to AnnaDKornick.com forward slash academy. And of course, I've linked that for you down in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. All right, I'll see you soon.